All right, so for the Boolean data type, it's not as simple uh, to create a bunch of variables and show what happens. However, I will uh, go through the three basic uh, basic operations, the not and an or, uh, and then I'll show you how these expressions here evaluate to a Boolean statement. Remember, a Boolean is just true or false. Those are the only true two values you can ever have, true or false. Let's go to visualize. Um, the first one, the first example is not true. So not flips it. If it's true, it becomes false. If it's false, it becomes true. So look at looking at the example, not example one is false because originally it was true. So not true is false. So the example two, if you can guess, yes, it'll be true. The AND examples, the AND and ORs both take two inputs and evaluates them to a Boolean. So the AND requires both the first one and the second one to be true in order for it to evaluate to become true, so the output to be true. So if it's a false and a false, it's going to be false. If it's a true and a false, it doesn't matter if the first one's true, but one of them is false, so that's a false. If it's a false and a true, again, it's going to be false. And if it's true and true, then it becomes true. Only when both are true can it become true. The or is, uh, is similar but not the same. Uh, or is if one of them is true, then the whole statement is true. So uh, it is true or something or false, then it will be true. If it's false or true, it will be true. So as long as one of them becomes true, then the whole thing is true. So false or false? Well, none, none of them are true, so it's false. True or false? Now, because of the keyword or, true or false becomes true. False or true, once again, because of the or, because one of them is true, we have true. True or true. Now, this is a question. The question is, should it be false or true? Now, for or, it is actually true. If you want to make it so that if they're both true, it'd be false, that is a special operation called exclusive or. That is a totally different operation and is, um, is uh, not covered in this section. So right now, if it's an or, if it's an or, we're not going to deal with exclusive ors. We're just going to deal with regular ors. True or true, therefore, it must be true so these this example here is for the end oops this here example here is for the end the end is false and false gets you false true and false gets you false false and true gets you false only true and true gets you true or is not the opposite is similar but is not the opposite uh, false or false is false true or false is true False or true is true, and true or true is still true. So these are the these are the uh, basic ways to uh, deal with booleans. Now, when you have things like that compare, like greater than or uh, less than, sorry, less than or greater than equal to or not equal to or equal to, what happens is it becomes a true or false statement. Even though they're originally numbers, the way it's evaluated, it becomes a true or false. So evaluate boolean. Is 5 less than 4? Sorry, is 5 less than 6? Yes, it is. So it should be true. And invalid boolean is indeed true. Is 5 greater than or equal to 6? No. So it would be false. Is 5 not equal to 6? Yes, that's true. 5 is not equal to 6, therefore it's true. And is 5 equal to 6? No, so it's not. And it's false. So your if statements, when they actually go through uh, conditions, they do evaluate to true and false first before they move on to the code to tell to figure out which one to execute. In other words, your if statement uses these Boolean types to work. And any control structure requires Boolean types.